Hello, this is May 4th, 2020, and I'm going to make a video of the LX200 GPS that I'm selling, uh, showing that it goes through its alignment, uh, goes through the uh, GPS, uh, uh, the checking the level, the north, the tilt, and proceeds to the, uh, to the alignment. Obviously, I'm in the daytime now, so it's not going to do that, but everything on the scope uh, is working perfectly. Uh, it has a new Telrad, uh, the Telrad base. The, the scope is actually 10 years old, I guess. Uh, I bought it used, uh, but when I bought it a year ago, I, I upgraded a lot of the things. I bought a new AutoStar 2 hand controller, so that's new. The Again, it has a new Telrad. It's, uh, it does have a camera adapter, the quarter, tonny, quarter 20 camera adapter that could be put on there. It does have a number of scratches and uh, dings here and there. Uh, it's been used over the years. It was in an observatory in Florida uh, when I bought it. But uh, uh, yes, I've upgraded mine to an LX600 uh, 10 inch. So this is a 10 inch LX GPS with smart drive. Uh, it's equipped with a port for an auto guider. has two RS-232 ports. The previous owner installed a separate 12 volt power supply that's routed through the forks and has a, a, a cigarette lighter plug uh, triple outlet here on the side of one of the fork arms. This allows you to mount a, uh, a dew controller, you know, heat band controller. If you have cameras that you want to plug in that require 12 volt power, and again, this power goes directly. Uh, through a fuse to a separate cigarette lighter plug adapter. Uh, this telescope comes with a uh, the the Mead, I guess it's 20 feet, 15 or 20 feet cigarette lighter uh, power cord. It has a a William uh, Optics uh, dielectric uh, diagonal, 99% uh, plus uh, transmission. It's got a, it's a two inch uh, diagonal, but it has an inch and a quarter adapter to allow either of those. It has a Peterson Engineering Eye Opener 2 uh, adapter, again, to give you a full two inch opening into your optics. It's got the Mead uh, focuser, power electronic focuser, that connects to the control panel and is operated from the hand controller. This cord uh, has got several places where the outer covering is, uh, has rotted, and you see that there are several cords there, but I've, I've tested and operated the uh, electronic focuser, and it works perfectly. Again, there's a number of nicks and scratches on it. Uh, there's a number of places where he had cables connected before that I haven't, I haven't peeled off. Uh, this is the the uh, declination uh, fine adjustment and I can see when it's twisting when the telescope is doing its own movement you can see that, that, that that's bent slightly at some point because it doesn't spin exactly true but it, it functions perfectly. Uh, so that's it. Again uh, the scope has a, a metal uh, dew shield that goes on the front. I haven't, I haven't included that in the video here. It's got the covers. Uh, I'm not including any eyepieces. Uh, just about anybody that's going to buy this type of telescope has probably either got eyepieces or have, uh, yeah, would want to buy their own. In fact, I do have a very inexpensive one that I can include. So, and I'll list that in the description. But I wanted to have a video of this going through its process so that people would see that the scope is actually, is actually operational. So I've just powered up. Oh, and by the way, I've also just gone through the AutoStar updater, and I've updated this to 4.2L. Uh, so this is the newest version of the Mead LX200 GPS uh, software for the or firmware for the telescope. When this telescope begins, because it will uh, do a very easy alignment process, it checks its own true north, it checks its own level and tilt, 
uh, and goes through that goes through that process. Okay, I'm going to get out of the picture now and let it let it do its thing. And I should also say that the the clip that uh, held the uh, eyepiece, the eyepiece, the uh, hand controller in a convenient place, that's that's gone. It's going through a process now where it's finding true north. Oh, it's finding level at present, it says. Oh, this also has a Mead counterweight system. You'll, you should be able to see, if you can't clearly, you should be able to see that there, there's a counterweight rail on the bottom with counterweights that allows you to, to balance the scope. Here's the cigarette lighter adapter that I indicated has power run from the control panel, and again, that's separately powered and fused from the telescope. Now it's finding mount tilt, meaning that if the mount isn't exactly level, it'll compensate for that in the instructions that it gives the declination and right ascension drive motors. Well, this also has a, uh, an upgraded clutch. This is the OPT the OPT Astrolock. So again, this is a uh, upgraded clutch over what uh, what's provided with the the Mead scopes. Still working on the mount tilt. And all of this is automatic. Uh, it has the Mead Finder Scope, and I believe that's a 50 millimeter, 8 by 50 maybe. I didn't use that. I used the Telrad, then I had a green laser pointer, but again, that's the Finder Scope that came with the telescope. Uh, the fork arm battery compartments, he's taken out the person that set this up initially took out the uh, the ability to do batteries there. On the right fork arm, you'll see this is the power connection, the 12 volt power connection. All right, so now it's taking a GPS fixed, fix. The GPS fix is complete. It's now selecting a star uh, for the, the automatic alignment, the easy alignment process. And of course, it's daytime, so I'm not going to be able to see it. But it's doing what's called the brightest star alignment method. So it's going to point to, or close to, the brightest star in the sky. And it'll ask me to center that in the eyepiece and press enter. Uh, so, uh, again, you'll, you'll see, those of you that are familiar with an LX200 uh, GPS, you'll know exactly what that uh, process is. It's a very simple alignment process. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, there's a, again, the gentleman that set this telescope up initially has an alternate focus uh, connector here, the three, what is, whatever it is, three and a half millimeter connector, and, and a cord. I assume that that went to an external focuser. You operate this, the Mead focuser, from the hand controller, 
And so you have the ability here to push focus, which is number four, and then move the, move the focus either in a fine uh, medium or a coarse way uh, to get focus. Uh, you probably, yeah, you can see in the video, I believe, that at the feet, right now, this is in the inside of my observatory, but we have, I have three of the little tri-wheel casters that uh, this telescope sits on. And if you're in a, if you're in an area like a garage that has a relatively flat surface, uh, it rolls very easy. Uh, again, if you're going to be outside, uh, that's not going to be something that's going to work very well, but uh, that does allow you to easily get it in and out of a garage. So that's it. Again, there's one of the metal uh, dew shields that goes on the front of this that I forgot to include in this video, but probably not going to do it again. But uh, well, it's got a lot of scratches on it as well. It's, it's been around. But the telescope, the optics are clean. Uh, yeah. Everything about this uh, this telescope, again, this this telescope has seen a lot of wonders in its in its years, but it's still in really good condition. Oh, I did replace uh, when I bought the scope a year ago, the the circuit board that controlled this process of finding level, uh, finding the uh, mega the uh, true north, and doing that process uh, had failed, so I bought a new uh, circuit board for that. So that this process that it just went through was being guided by that circuit board, and again, that uh, that was new in the last year. So the AutoStar hand controller is new, the Telrad is new, uh, the circuit board that controls the uh, True Level North uh, process, uh, that's all new. Includes power cord, again, has a separate uh, power uh, situation there. It includes the counterweight system, so that's it. And again, I'll, uh, uh, I'm not going to try to put this on AstroMart, but I'll, I'll let anybody that's interested can email me and I'll send them a drop block, Dropbox link to this video. All right, again, it's May 4th, 2020. This is a LX200 uh, GPS with Smart Drive. Very good. Hope everybody's staying safe.